Hey everyone, it's Heidi Scott with DIY Dreaming. And on today's video, I have this super cute pillow to show you how to do. Um, so I'm really excited about it. I know you guys are gonna love it. I can't wait to see, whoops, which way do I need to go? I cannot wait to see all the pillows that you guys will be creating over the next several months. This is super easy. It was not my original idea. It was um, one of my followers uh, made a pillow like this and she put a really cute stencil in the center. Um, and I asked her if it would be okay and she said that she had learned how to do this on a YouTube video. So anyways, I don't know who to give this pillow idea credit to, but you're gonna love it. Okay, so what uh, you're gonna do is, I think I'll show you how to mark up the pillow first. And then I'll show you how to mark the circles that you're gonna be cutting. Then I'm gonna show you how to glue them. And then I'll show you the start of how to put them on a, a canvas pillow. Okay, so this is just a, a nice canvas pillow. It came from Maker Studio. Uh, when I'm all finished, I'll get a link and I'll put that at the very top of the comments. Um, they're like 10 or $12, super nice. Okay, so I ironed it to get started. And then, you know, I'm all about use what you have, use what you have, use what you have. I think you guys can see okay. So I used what I had. You want, you're gonna want three circles because there's gonna be three rows, all right? So my first one is one of my dishes. And I need a pencil, find one. And I need my marker too, or my ruler. Okay, for this project, I really do recommend that you measure because you want to have your, your flower circle to be in the center of your pillow. So when I did the other one, I think it was like, needs to go this way a little bit. It was like three and a half inches from either side. Yeah, that's good. And then, come up just a hair okay so then you're just gonna take a pillow and lightly you're gonna trace it this is all gonna be covered up but you are gonna need to be able to see where to put your different rows okay um, I'll show you what it looks like it's really pretty light I might use a harder harder pressure when I do the next one can you guys see it it's pretty light okay then the next one you need something that goes in just a little bit further. And so I'm looking around the house and I ended up with a paper plate. All right. And I'm just going to eyeball this and I'm going to draw a circle. I'm going to just trace it. So how are you guys doing today? Are you having a good day? Um, I have been, I'm kind of late coming on live today because I have been working on this orange themed one. And next up is gonna be a blue, a real pretty blue, some brown. There's a little bit of a kind of teal in it. Um, so it's gonna be fabulous. Okay, so then I have my next one. Then I used this for the center. And this was the, um, for the porch sitters project that we did yesterday, this is a six and a half inch round little piece of wood from Hobby Lobby. So just use what you have in your house, whether that's plates, paper plates, bowls. Um, there's no specific size that this has to be. This is such a great craft for messy crafters. I mean, seriously, you're gonna see. Okay, so I have, it looks like a bullseye. I have three a ring with three things. Okay, and I'm gonna zip this shut. Um, okay, now we need to talk about how, what we're gonna do essentially is we're using, I'm using all the scraps of um, decorator books, fabric books that my friend gave me. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Um, and I'm just, I've just, I've got like six books here. I'm just looking through them and cutting out the pieces of fabric that kind of go with the color scheme that I'm doing. So, 
This is a beautiful book. I didn't cut any of these out. I'm going to do something with this. It's all embroidery. But anyways, that's the idea. And um, a lot of really, um, a lot of designers and decorators have these books. And when they go out of date, there's nothing they can do with them anymore. So they give them away. And it's super nice quality fabric. I felt like it was a, like I hit the lottery. <laughs> Won the jackpot or whatever that expression is. Okay, so we're gonna set this aside for now. And next up, we want to make circles. All right, so this is also embroidered fabric, but it's from a different book. And um, for the first pillow project, I used the, the six and a half inch round. Um, will I please what? Oh, okay, somebody's asking me about the stamps that are 50% off at Maker Studio. Yes, that's true. I will send you a message as soon as I'm done here. Um, if you're going to look at that, I would love it if you would use my link um, because I make a little, I make a small percentage of whatever sales come into the company, even when they're on sale. And uh, so as soon as I'm done, I'll post a couple of links for that. And... Um, and then I'll get back to anyone who has questions. Okay, so then the size of your circle really just depends on what, um, how big the, the fabric pieces are. And when I was doing this set of fabric, I'll show you, it's beautiful. A lot of the pieces were kind of narrow. So my six and a half inch wood round that I traced in the center, it was too big. So, I pulled out one of my beautiful polka dot Southern Living at Home bowls made by the wonderful Gail Pittman. And I just used this to trace. So I'll show you how I did it. And there's really no specific place that you have to put, um, put your, your um, pattern or whatever you're gonna trace. And I just used an ink pen Okay, and this is basically what you're gonna end up with. You guys, this is one of those projects that you, um, that would be great to do when you're watching TV. It's super affordable, um, and you can find fabric everywhere. Thrift stores, garage sales, these decorator books, maybe you have some old clothes. You, um, it's just, it's a little time consuming. Hey, Maddie, we'll see you tonight. Um, so it's a little time consuming and it's a little repetitive. And that's why I say this would be a great project to do when you're watching TV. To just sit, trace your, whatever your pattern's going to be on your fabric pieces. And then just sit down in front of the TV and cut out all of your circles. This is also a very glue intensive project. And I opted, um, I learned some things when I was making my first pillow. So I opted to use my low temperature hot glue gun. It's a, it's called a cool shot. It looks like this. Mine has strings all over it now because it's gotten a lot of action this morning. I mean, a serious lot. Anyways, it came from uh, Hobby Lobby. It's a little bit even lower temperature than a regular low temperature glue gun. Um, you're gonna see how much glue you get on your fingers. So, um, so I decided to use hot glue and the girl, the lady who, um, who sent me the picture, which I cannot find today, um, I will find it and I'll put it in the comments. Or if that's you, please message me and let me know and resend me that picture. Um, she said also that she used hot glue. Okay, I'm just gonna throw this aside. I'm making a pile of scrap pieces. I save everything, you guys. I'm making a pile of scrap pieces so that I can make some fun of those, um, those messy bows that my friend Melanie makes um, on her page. Anyways, so this is this could be a pretty part of a pretty messy bow. 
Okay, so this is what we have. And what you're gonna wanna do is take all of your rounds and you're gonna cut them in half. I'll show you how I do that. And then I'm gonna show you all the fabric stuff I have. Okay, so I'm gonna look at this piece of fabric and decide how do I wanna do it. I really want each piece to have some embroidery on it. So I'm just folding it in half. And um, they don't have to be perfectly in half or straight lines or anything. So that's all I'm doing. This, I would guess that this is six inches in diameter. Okay, and I was even so uh, lazy as I was getting this ready. I used, I put two pieces together so that I could cut two at the same time. Okay, look at this pretty piece. Okay, so let me finish cutting these circles and then we'll move on to the next step, which um, is not hard to do. It just, it takes a while. How many circles? Okay, let me think about that. I think you're gonna need around 60. No, you're gonna probably need around 60 half pieces. So that would be about 30 circles. And I think it looks cuter when you have a variety of different fabrics all mixed up. And I'll show you, as soon as we do a little gluing, I'll show you how I laid it out to get started. I had to really think this out. Okay, so this is three. <laughs> Christian? All right, these are my last pieces. If you can get your hands on some of the decorator fabric books or the um, sewing fabric shops that have these things, oh, you'll just be amazed. Okay, so then the next thing we're gonna do is we are going to, let me find a good piece to show you with. I think I'll use this solid one first. And let's put the camera down just a little bit further. I always feel like it might tip over. <laughs> um, okay, so you figure out which is the front of the fabric. And I'm gonna say this is the front of the fabric. So I'm gonna put it face down. And then I'm just gonna do like a line of glue right here. Just kind of in the center. And then what you do this is you take a hold of both sides and you just pinch up a pleat. I'll show you close up. So see, I took both sides and I pinched them into that glue and this is what it looks like on the front. All right, now we're gonna glue these two pieces down and then we're gonna do one other thing to it. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Um, and I figured this out just from looking at the picture. I also figured out one additional step that I think makes a big difference. Okay, so there's the front. It's got that big pleat or whatever you want to call it. There's the back. And I glued the sides to the raised part. Now what we want to do is glue, pull these corners in just a hair and glue them down. And so I just... Put a dot on each corner of glue. And these don't have to come in any particular way. You're not gonna see it. But if you're gonna do 20, is that right? 20 pieces around three of those rings, they're gonna have to be a little bit on the narrower side. Okay, so that is what that looks like. I'll do it again. Um, let's do this cute fabric. Isn't that cute? All right, so I'm doing a line of glue and then I'm just pulling in a pleat on both sides. Trying not to stick my fingers in the hot glue. Okay, that's what we have. Now we need to glue these two little wings down. So 
will stay flat. I'll show you. See, I just glued those two little wings down. Is this making sense? Um, I'm afraid to find the comments because I'm worried I'll tip my, my tripod's really leaning forward. Um, okay, so now we need to just do these little bitty corners. And you can just sit down and do like, uh, you know, 25 at a time. They don't take long. So that is what that looks like. I love this fabric. I picked out the fabric for our main floor um, renovation that we're going to be doing here soon. And oh my gosh, I love it. It kind of reminds me of, of this, but it's a different color. It's, it's a, like a washed looking linen. That's the front. That's the So once I get that ordered, I will sh show everyone my paint colors and um, wait, did I do something wrong there? No. Okay, so here we have our little fold and now we need to glue the wings down. Okay, and now I'm going to just glue these little edges. And we'll say this is good, because I did already make some before I came live. Also, I made that whole pillow, the orange-themed one. So I'll, I'm gonna show you a peek of that in just a minute. See? And this is what the, the sides are glued in. And this one's way, I must have not had it centered. So I'm gonna put a little more glue on here and fold it over one more. Okay, so I only have, you know, the start of all my, these are my fabrics that I pulled out of some of these books. Um, there's this pretty embroidered one, a really soft one, a light blue and white polka dot, a light blue and white leopard, this is pretty, this is um, embroidered. Here's a, a neutral one. I might wanna do one of these so that I have the big pieces to, that are gonna be the anchor. Ooh, look at this. This is like a brushed velvet with a pattern on it. Um, and then here's like a, I don't know what this is called, but just really pretty. And here's one that's kind of different, bringing in just a few other colors. And then I have this paisley, and, and then I have that pretty blue that reminds me of the fabric that I picked. Okay, so I'm going to just quickly whip out um, a couple more so I can show you how you're gonna anchor it when you get started. Okay, I'm looking at what I have. And I think I'm going to do this because I love this fabric. It's going to probably end up being the very top. So just to um, go back and tell you, we are, in case you're hopping on now, we're making a pillow that's gonna look like this. Is that cute or what? <sighs> Love it. Um, out of scrap fabric. And um, we're using hot glue. It's fine to use that. We're, this pillow is not gonna ever get washed in the, in the wash. It's for sure not gonna get washed. So, and it's not really gonna, I mean, it's just gonna look cute on a sofa 
or where our bed, wherever you put it. So it's okay to use hot glue sometimes. Use a low temperature hot glue though, because um, yeah, you don't want to burn yourself. Okay, I'm going to do one more that's kind of a deeper color. Once you get going, you get into this little routine. cut some of this messy stuff right here off. Some of these fabrics here really want to fray. Okay, let me get rid of this and make sure my desk is sort of clean before I set that white uh, pillow cover, pillow sleeve on it. And I lost one. These are the stencils that I'm thinking might be great to use in the center. This one, let your light shine before others, Matthew 5, 16. Or this one, do everything in love. There's no Bible verse on that one. Or this one, I love this, be still and know that I am God. Um, these are from Maker Studio and I'll put a link uh, in there. Okay, so my poor desk is looking really bad these days because I have been crafting up a storm. Okay, here's our, um, our pillow again. Cross your fingers that I don't tip you over. Okay, and I'm gonna start with some of the darker colors as my anchor and you start on the outside uh, ring. So, just looking to see what do I have. Do that one here. And this one here. And you can pull, you can clean up and pull all the strings off when you're finished, okay? So can you guys see how I have that, um, that going? All right, then you're just going to run a band of glue along the line that you traced with that plate. <laughs> and you're pushing your little, um, I don't know, what do you call these little flower petals into it. And you do wanna get them down pretty secure. I'm gonna hold this up in just a second and show you what we've got. And I'll show you on the pillow that's finished also. Okay, so here's our pillow. And you can see the, um, the four darker colored are sort of anchored at each, you know, at zero, 90, 45, and you know, or, 12, 3, 6, 9, if you're, if you're thinking about a clock. Okay, and on this, um, this is the one that I showed you that I made this morning. Here's my anchor right here, and it was a dark color. And then here's my anchor down here, and it was a dark color. And then here's my anchor here, and it was a rel relatively dark color. And here was my anchor here. And then you're just going to start mixing it up. And when you start the next row, then your anchor is going to be a lighter color. So there's my anchor for the second row. And then here's my anchor for the third row. I'm back to a deeper color. Then it looks all mixed up. And as you're, as you're gluing, you kind of want to see, okay, do I have that, that exact fabric? just in the row right behind it, then I don't want to do it again. I'll put it over here. You know what I mean? So that you're really mixing it up. Okay, and I wish I would have done more of these so that I would have um, 
more to select from. Okay, so then I would go in between, can you guys see what I'm saying here? In between each one of our anchors and glue that down. And I'm just putting the very bottom of it right up to the line that I drew. If you're a free spirit, you don't have to do this planned out thing. Just do what feels good to you, but I'm kind of a, Although I never read the instructions for anything, I am kind of a, a <laughs> I like things to be even and, um, you know, correct as much as possible. Okay, and I'm just checking to see if any of these on the side need a little bit more glue. Okay, I'm going to lift it up and show you guys. Okay, now we have, um, you know, the, the real rudimentary outline. We're going to do one more and then I'm going to show, I'm going to hop into the next level, even though we're not really ready for that. Okay, this is the top. This is the fabric I love so much. So, I want a couple of lighter colored fabrics on either side. You see what I'm talking about right here on either side? Here's dark, 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 our anchors. And then I put a dark in the center. So I'm gonna do two lighter ones. And you can glue right over the top of the um, little flower petal, the folded flower petal next door, or um, or not. In this case, this one's smaller. Okay, so this is what we have, the start of the first row. Um, okay, so to do the next one, I need to make a couple more real quick, a couple more light ones. This is a cute fabric. And when I get off, I'm going to, oh, I've got a zillion things to do today. But I'm going to tonight, before tomorrow morning, I will get this project all finished and I'll share pictures. I still have lots more of this gluing to do. Okay, so here's the start of a new one. And it's light, which is what I need. This would be a fun project to do also if, um, if you were going to really mix it up and use a whole bunch of different colors. Okay, there's one. I need to find another kind of lighter. This is lighter. And this is lighter. So let's, we're looking to see what is the front. You're, when you first start making this, you're going to feel like your fingers are all over the place. But you'll get into a little routine. Look how much glue I have on my thumb. And um, I'm so curious to see what kind of pillows you guys are going to make. Because I know uh, that this group in particular loves flowers. Me too. I'm a little obsessed with them. And um, so I know that you guys will probably be doing whipping out some of these pillows in no time okay just holding it down for a second there's the back all right let's do one more light one so that I have enough to work with those um, stencils that I held up just a minute ago those stencils are from maker studio in case you're wondering, um, when I get off, I will uh, put a link to Maker Studio, my affiliate link, 
I'll put it in the description box, which is above the video, and I'll also drop it a few places in the um, in the comments. And if you ask for it, of course, I'll I'll send you one too. Um, so if you want to look at stencils and gel ink from Maker Studio, okay. So let's open this back up. And um, I showed you this first row. Now I wanna show you how you start the next row. And I'm gonna start with this piece of fabric. No, I'm gonna start with this one because it's the very top and it's, it's prettier, I think. So I, can you see where the second row is? I'm just going to glue my little piece down right there. So the anchors were dark on the first row and they're light on the second row. And you could also do this pillow with all, um, with all one color fabric. Okay, well that's, whoops. That is where we are, I showed you those first two rows. Um, at this point, I really need to uh, cut out some more fabric before I go any further because I don't want it to all look completely the same. Uh, but super duper 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 easy and fun. And um, these pillow forms are just a nice canvas. They came from Maker Studio. I just took the pillow out of this one right here, which I did a live on um, maybe six months ago. This is that stencil that I love so much from Maker Studio that says, bless the Lord, oh my soul. And I don't know if you guys remember, but we, I had a oopsie right here where I got a little gel ink outside of the stencil. So I just found this cute little heart stencil and stencil right over the top of it. So there's almost always going to be a way to fix a boo-boo. Um, don't sweat it. Th these projects that you're doing here that I'm doing, they're handmade projects. They're not something that's cranked out in mass quantities by a machine. So um, anyways, I just wanted to show this to you. It, this has been on my sofa, just hanging out for like the last six months and it, it's still in great shape. I could wash this because I ironed to heat set it. Um, I could wash it if I wanted. Anyways, let me see what you guys are saying. Do you guys like this project? If you do, give me some hearts. And are you guys excited to see how this pillow is gonna turn out? I am so excited to see what it's gonna look like. I think I need to get some more, dig through my samples a little bit more and find some more. Oh, look at all those hearts. You guys are so sweet. Um, see if I can find some more light colored fabric to add to this project so that it's kind of alternating. I, I didn't, okay, where's the top? Here's the top. I didn't strictly alternate, but Okay, so let me just show you one more thing and then I'm gonna hop off and get to work. Um, so this is what I'm thinking, either to put this stencil, I think that might be the winner right here. Be still and no, I'm not sure what color of gel ink I want to use. You guys, will you help me decide that? Um, should I use should I pull out something like a turquoise color? Should I use a brown? Should I use a black? I'm not gonna use the orange because the orange is never gonna look, it's not gonna ever match. But um, I could do gray, brown, turquoise, black, uh, I don't know. Tell me what you guys think in the comments, what color I should do. So I could do this one, or this would be pretty here in the center. I think it's a little too big. This is the one that the gal put in the center of her pillow, and her pillow has red and white fabric, 
and then stenciled in the center in either black or red, I don't remember, is this stencil. And it's perfect because it's a circle. And her pillow just looks so good. I, I commented on it when I saw it and I asked her right away, um, you know, I don't ever want to step on anyone's toes or claim something that's mine when it isn't. So I asked her right away, I said, would you be okay if I showed this idea? you know, in my own style, my own colors, all that, to DIY Dreaming and, and then to share it over at Dreamy DIY. And she was like, sure, it's not mine originally. It came from, she saw some video over at YouTube. So, um, okay, I'm seeing lots of colors, gray or black. Be still and know, I love this. This is an awesome stencil. Be still and know that I am God. God is still in control and a lot of times here's just a little mini christ in crafting a lot of times we get so busy striving doing acting that um that i am the worst person to be saying this because this is so my life right now that we don't have time to be still and spend time with god um yeah I, my life is crazy busy right now uh, so I'm going to use this in this pillow. And I think I'll probably use either the brown or a turquoise color on this one. And maybe I'll use this one on the orange pillow. This one is not seasonal. It's going to sit out on my sofa just all year long. So I'm going to hop off now. I'm going to get links on here so you guys can go look at the Maker Studio stencils. The pillow form, the gel art ink that they have, which is for fabric. That's what you need. Please don't use chalk um, paste or chalk art on your pillows because the second somebody sits down and leans back against the pillow and their jacket has any moisture on it or condensation, it's going to be smeared all over. And if you have a light colored sofa, you might end up with smudges all over your light colored sofa. So you need something that's going to be permanent and after I um, do this, then I'm gonna get my iron out and heat set it. So it'll be good to go. Alrighty, thank you guys for joining me. Um, I will post pictures of this here and in just on the DIY Dreaming page and um, hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I'll see you tomorrow.